Greetings, everybody. My name is Godwin Namo, and I am your course director. I am a full professor, chief researcher, and exaro chair in climate and sustainability transitions at the University of South Africa. I am an NRF rated researcher in the fields of green economy, climate change, and sustainable development, and I've published widely in these areas. I have over 25 years of work experience drawn from a mix of academic and consultant spheres. Among my offerings are 17 books, four of them co-authored and 13 of them edited volumes. I have published 101 journal articles so far and many book chapters. Since 2013, I have graduated 11 PhDs and I am currently supervising six other PhDs. I have also hosted 11 postdoctoral fellows from across Africa, a landmark I am so proud of. I was responsible for developing this course and I will also be delivering recorded lectures or talks if you so wish to call them. Lastly, I am just excited to be part of this great initiative on post-COVID-19 low carbon transition in Africa. And I want to thank greatly IDEP for putting this course uh, in place and also the sponsors for, for this course. I wish to welcome you all to our post-COVID law carbon transition course starting 11 October 2021 and running for the next five weeks. In this recording, I will focus on the course overview. Now, our course uh, uh, overview is going to cover the context and course rationale, module list, course objectives, skills to be imparted, ped pedagogical approach or methods and modes of delivery, and also our target audience. Now, for the context and duration of this course, the COVID-19 crisis posed enormous challenges to economies and societies across Africa, but it must not derail efforts by African countries to limit warming to well below two degrees Celsius. The pandemic is also set to curtail Africa's efforts to build a climate smart and resilient future. However, the post-COVID recovery program uh, uh, prog programs present an opportunity to many African countries to closely align public policies with climate objectives and limit the risk of uh, pursuing carbon intensive development. Recovering from COVID-19 entails, among others, a training of diverse state and non-state actors on how to build back and build forward better and promote the creation of green economies and jobs so as to address worsening challenges of poverty, unemployment, inequality, and climate change vulnerability. Now, what are some of the course objectives? These are the overall course objectives. We'll also be coming back to each module uh, that we deliver uh, in this course and outline some of the specific objectives for those specific modules. Now, number one, we want to provide background on global and African development agendas and the contestations thereof, including matters surrounding the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, Sendai Framework, Paris Agreement, New Urban Agenda, Africa Agenda 2063, among others. We also wish to provide insights into global and African Union institutional arrangements and global policy agenda setting processes. We also wish to build knowledge regarding the linkages between COVID-19 and climate change. Now, the general objective of the course is continuum. We also, number four, want to understand the concepts and the policies on low carbon, just and sustainability transition in the context of uh, COVID-19 and climate change, as well as explore the disadvantages and advantages thereof for African economies. We also wish to build uh, capacity to low carbon and climate negotiations with the view to promote sustainable African growth that is inclusive of the blue or ocean economy. We want to prepare the African continent and its key stakeholders for global transition to net zero by 2050. I think this is gonna be a critical issue. 
to prepare the continent and key stakeholders for the global transition to net zero by 2050. Don't mind about what net zero means. We are going to learn more in the upcoming modules. To open up uh, avenues for mobilizing means of implementation towards low carbon and climate resilient African economies. And lastly, there to build capacity to analyze, monitor, evaluate, and also verify low carbon development pathways and trajectories. Now, some of you might be wondering then, how are we going to be sitting these modules? I know from our advert that we have flighted around, we were having six modules, uh, and we have trimmed those modules and made some of those modules into four compact modules that will be delivered uh, or you will learn in the four weeks. And of course, the last is an assignment that we do in the last, uh, in the fifth week. I'll come to this later on. Now, module one is uh, uh, focusing on, intro it's an introduction to global and African development agenda setting and agendas. Module two, will focus on disaster risk reduction under climate change and pandemics. Module three will look at low carbon, just and sustainability transitions in an African context. And lastly, module four will look at the means of implementation, monitoring and evaluation. Now, what are some of the skills that we intend to impart through this learning or through the next five weeks of learning? Uh, we want to impart skills to historic, holistically understand the linkages between selected global and African development agendas. We want to impart skills to realize and differentiate between uh, disaster, uh, disasters such as COVID-19 pandemic and climate change within the context of building back and building forward better. Where by the end of this course, the participants will also be able to grasp the phenomena surrounding the low carbon, just and sustainability transitions and apply the knowledge to better prepare their economies for transition. Continuing with our skills to be imparted, we want the participants to be able to comprehend the central role of green energy in low carbon transition and how this will affect African economies in the context of the net zero. We want also participants to be able to review and adjust Africa's engagement in climate and other negotiations for the protection and delivery of African interests. And clearly we want participants to advocate for building African capacity to mitigate global inequalities surrounding disaster risk reduction and management and be it climate change or any other pandemics outside the COVID-19. And we want participants to be able to analyze, monitor, and evaluate just and low carbon transition initiatives, including sustainable energy options. Now, in terms of our methodologies uh, and modes of delivery, this course, uh, as I indicated earlier, will be running uh, for the next five weeks. Uh, the final week is reserved for the final evaluation or an assessment. And the course will be moderated uh, asynchronously on a weekly basis and participants are required to participate in the weekly online discussion platform. Then additional web links and optional readings are provided for participants who wish to deepen their knowledge of the topic. Then we will also have uh, self-paced uh, lesson materials enabling the understanding of key concepts. There will also be readings and case studies to deepen knowledge. There will be interactive activities that focus on data testing and on country situations. There will be online discussions where questions are answered and group interactions. Then of course, there's was quite an interesting um, assessment tool we're going to use in, in the delivery of our material, which per every module, we have set about 20 quizzes that we'll take at the end of that sessions. And these uh, quizzes will come as uh, uh, um, uh, 10 per session, if maybe you don't do well, because it's part of an assessment, you are given a second chance and possibly a third chance. I'm not sure if IDEP is going to allow you to get to a fourth chance. 
but we try to explain much of the information in our recordings of the PowerPoint, which is going to be one of the uh, key tools to use. Then you also have a written up module um, uh, notes for, the, for each of the modules. And also we've got digits that we have selected there. We have also tried to uh, select um, interesting short clips, uh, maximum maybe uh, 10 minutes, but most of them they're about between one and a half minutes to four minutes, uh, short clips that will introduce you to certain concepts. And uh, when we're preparing this, uh, we really enjoyed uh, this activity as well. Now, um, the course is going to be delivered in both English and French. And uh, the resource team includes a course director, myself, and a team of moderators that are there that are knowledgeable in terms of post COVID uh, uh, issues, local carbon transition in Africa. Then, of course, um, there is also uh, in line with either pedagogical philosophy, the presentation of the course uh, modules will combine a knowledge building component with experience sharing uh, among participants. Now, who are our target audience? One might want to ask, and possibly you also want to know if you are the right person to be in this course. Uh, our target audience is senior experts in climate change and natural resources management, development economists and other professionals, development practitioners, academia with interest in disaster risk reduction and management and low carbon development, academia with interest in the net zero uh, uh, the trajectory, um, senior government officials dealing with matters related to disaster risk reduction and management and climate change, low carbon transition, green energy and sustainability transitions. We also have got NGOs and CBO, community-based organizations, top management, and also middle managers are welcome. We also have got development financiers and aid agencies, senior labor unionists and senior journalists and editors are all welcome. I want to say I am so excited in terms of going to deliver this material to you so that we can together work towards Africa we want as the agenda 2063 has put that vision before us. I think after this course, every individual should be able to take part in contributing towards a low carbon climate resilient Africa. Thank you. <laughs>